was the turn of the century, a time of great change, a time where nearly anything seemed possible. Around then, many of the inventions which make the modern world what it is were created. The commercial automobile gave the power to go anywhere to anyone. And in small corners around the world, the first movie theaters were created. These early theaters were referred to as Nickelodeons, as it costed only one nickel to get in. With popularity and profits rising, these Nickelodeons were soon replaced by the much larger movie palaces. These auditoriums could fit upwards of a thousand people per showing and demonstrate the luxury and extravagance of the time, the true cathedrals of the age. The only thing left to do to round out the theater entertainment experience was to upgrade the films themselves. And in this effort, the studios threw everything they had at the screen and created The Epic, a series of productions the scale of which had never been seen before on the cinema. The biggest actors, the biggest sets, the biggest productions. this occasion must be as gratifying to you as it is to me and to the rest of us. On July 7th, 1936, NBC produced the very first television broadcast, the successors to which, some 20 years later, would be the final blow to the spectacle of the movies. Well, what do you think? Is there any wonder it's called the most advanced television of our time? And the credit all belongs to Philco television scientists who have worked years to develop a radically new semi-flat picture tube which measures less from front to back than any you've ever seen. They've created a new Predicta chassis which puts more picture power in less space. During the 1950s, the popularity of television had grown significantly and the television itself grew more and more advanced. Towards the end of the decade, a significant profit gap had formed. This led to the end of the epic. One by one, the grand old theaters fell to progress. Whether or not the big show will ever return is up to the general viewers as their preferences change often. Perhaps one day, the spectacle of film and theater going will return. Now was the time for the fox to take its last bow. The mighty fox Wurlitzer will now give San Francisco a final salute. As the organ lowers into the pit, we hear the last sounds from the fox theater. <laughs>